Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, so now that I've talked to Admiral Hackett, um, what's the fucking, uh, oh yeah, I'll go talk to the whole crew. Uh, oh, is there, oh, I guess there's nobody I can talk to here yet. Eventually. Eventually I will. Wait, can I talk to him again? Just real quick, I'm gonna, I wanna check. No, okay. It will be kinda cool when we can have the holographic projections. Um, I think I heard somewhere that we might have that we might have realistic holograms in the next, like, like 20 years or so. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral oh. Hackett would like you to investigate. Oh, really? Well, let's read up on that. And actually, let's... Actually, we'll check all that after we talk to the crew. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark IV. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any <laughs> event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I can only assume that a, cr a credit is not the equivalent of a dollar. Nobody, nobody is paying $6,000 for a toothbrush. Uh, a personal history. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. Even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Quite true, Commander. Uh, joining, uh, reaction to the war. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Okay, uh, so your lab job and joining the military. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Okay, and then... Wait. Oh yeah, joining the military is the last one. How'd you end up in the military, anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. Alright, I guess that's everything for... Carry on, specialist. ...for trainer. Uh, I won't check... Yeah, I won't check the messages until I I've talked to everybody. I mean, at this point, I don't really have much of a crew, so there shouldn't be too many people to talk to. I think it's just Liara and... Jesus, is that it? I think... That... Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> You're surprised? <laughs> They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus... Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> Is that it? Commander, oh. 
Oh, that's it. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, that's everybody on this floor. Uh, so we'll go to the... Oh. Oh, yeah, right. That Where Jacob used to be, That I guess that room just doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so combat... Oh, yeah, we got a few more floors. Oh, yes. Yes, okay, I'm starting to remember a bit more now. Um... Crew quarters, mess. Uh, yeah, I'll go. Okay, I'll just go down here. Oh, I guess Doctor Chalkwise would be on this floor. Use hard hitting weapons against armored opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my, it feels good to be playing this game again. I, uh, it's sort of been a little a little while since the last time I played. I, uh, I'm sort of alternating, alternating on weekends. You know, like last weekend I played Dark Souls three, and then. Um, anyway, let's see. Who's here? Oh, yeah, I think Liara's over there, and Garrus will be there. Let's talk to Dr. Chakwaz. The surprisingly toy doctor. <laughs> Commander? Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. Uh, really? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Better safe than sorry. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. Hmm. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time. Even given the amount of fire you take each day. I kind, I kind of wish I did have some of the scars on there. The uh, scars are really cool. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. <laughs> Sounds good. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm <laughs> blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. You're in pretty damn good shape, Doctor. See you around, Doctor. <laughs> Take care, Shepard. Uh, wait, is there anything back here? Oh, yes, just the, just this thing, yeah. yeah. We got, we got plans for that thing. That's gonna be, uh, oh, right, if I, if I wanted to retrain my... Hmm. Yeah, I've got the... I think I've got the, the lash right now, but... What's that? Disrupt? Oh, okay. So that's basically like... Like hacking, but for organics. Defense Matrix. Okay, so those, those are all replacement ones that I can use for what... Oh, the energy drain back. So I could I could theoretically get any one of those powers to replace the um, was it biot biotic lash or leash? I forget what it's called. Let's talk to the shadow broker. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> an interesting transition. <laughs> Commander Shepard. Oh, hello. It's a pleasure to see you again. 
You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Hmm, actually, yeah, let's see if there's any... The meeting was less than ideal. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I'm flattered, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, what is it that I can do here? Uh, armor mod kit. Uh, Farron has persuaded his contacts uh, to ship an armor uh, mod kit to the Normandy. Oh. Uh, technically illegal in Citadel space, the kit's Omnigel converter uh, and uh, manufacturing uh, fabricator can make a one-time modification to Shepard's armor, improving shield strength uh, or adding thermal clip uh, compartments. Yeah, yeah, do that. Hmm, do I want more ammo or do I want more shields? Hmm. I don't find ammo is usually a problem, so I'll go for more shield strength. I was feeling a little weak the last time I was playing, actually. Alright, so... So this might be a little awkward. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'll guess save over this one. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Uh, did, the Pro did the Protheans finish it? Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. We just need it working. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt... Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. Oh? I know you and Tally grew close. Is that in the past? Should I forget there was anything between us? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's awkward. Um, I'm sorry, Liara. Oh. Let's just be friends. A lot has happened since then, Liara. I don't think we'd work anymore. Really? I... Thank you for letting me know. I think it's best for both of us. Of course. Well, anyway, I should get down to business. There's a lot to do if we're to discover exactly what the Protheans left us. I'm. Jeez, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Liara. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> I've never dealt with a situation like that in real life. I'm kind of glad because I feel like an asshole. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, obviously you have every right to, to feel that way and express that, but I don't know. It's it's hard not to it's hard not to feel sympathy at the very least. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, have I talked to everybody? Doctor Abzilara. Okay, yeah. All right. So now it's just down to the. Um, I don't think there's anybody in engineering I can talk to yet, uh, so I'll just go to it next time. For now, I'll talk to um, uh, James. 
James. What's the other guy's name? Steve. Steve and James. That's who it is. Steve! Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Uh, at ease, soldier. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, Pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Oh, we got quite a few questions here. Okay, so eh, we'll just start from here and work our way over, I guess. And we'll go counterclockwise. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Uh, ground vehicle. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. <laughs> That's true. I actually... I'm probably one of the few people on Earth <laughs> that actually preferred the Mako over the Hammerhead. I mean, the Hammerhead's mobility was awesome, but it's, oh, it's just, it's armor, it's, it's yeah, it's firepower, just not even close. Um, shuttle. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. <laughs> uh, family. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. Oh. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Fair enough. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. And that's everything for him. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. James, you fucking lift, bruh. You fucking lift. Evidently. <laughs> hey, Shepard. <clears throat> this How is gonna end interesting. <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Paladin. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> got a long ways to go before I can do chin-ups like that. <laughs> uh, uh, I thought I'd come and say hi. <laughs> Just came down to talk. Oh, way to break the fourth wall there, Shepard. 
Shit. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. I think I can handle it. I'll whoop your ass, James. <laughs> okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom and rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. <clears throat> and the colony? It was either them, <clears throat> or the intel we had on the collectors. <clears throat> Intel we could have used to destroy him. I chose the intel. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Where? I do. You're a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! <clears throat> Gotcha. Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Loco. Ah, <laughs> oh, I wouldn't get all formal about that. I like Loco. I do know what Loco means. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Very nice. Always like the sparring scene, although I wish it... Uh, some of the moves are a little re repetitive, but otherwise a good scene. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.